Hi everyone, it's Helen. I'm just making a video today um, for a little update. Um, mostly it's going to be on Merlin um, to start with and then about all the gerbils. Um, so I've had Merlin for over a week now. Hey. And he's so cheeky. He's such a crazy budgie. Um, he's really, really come out of himself. Um, and he's like really energetic and like really vocal um, and really lively as you can see and he, he's been coming out of his cage like every day apart from he can't come out um, today just because um, my dad's away with work and sometimes I have problems catching him to put him back again because he goes up onto like a high up um, lampshade and I can't reach it so um, basically I ha if I had any trouble putting him back while my dad was away that would be a problem and my mum really doesn't want him to be let out like while, he while my dad's not here to help um, so just for today he's back tomorrow so he can have a fly around tomorrow um, and as you can see the bit above his beak has gone like more of a purple colour so I think it's slowly turning to blue um, and I can't remember if I mentioned in the last video, but with this cage, you get these feeders already installed that turn around. This is the water, and then the seed feeder was here, but what has happened is I had to take the whole thing out and just leave this bit, um, because he climbed into it and he got stuck, because, hello, <laughs> it took a year to me okay um because he got stuck here and he couldn't turn around he he like squished his whole body into that um, and there was like a piece of plastic that ran across which held the seed so he couldn't turn around because it was stopping him so yeah we had to take that out which is a bit annoying so um he now has this which holds his seeds and um, so he can't physically get in that because it's too tiny um, so I've realised now, like, anything that has a hole in, he'll try and go into, uh, which is a bit annoying. And he also, like, loves to scatter his food everywhere and spill it and roll in it. So I had to get that, which is small enough for him not to be able to do that. Um, so anyway, enough rambling. Um, I got a few new things for his cage, as you might be able to see. Um, I went to that discount pet shop that I told you about. Um, in my last video and got some more essential things that I needed to get for him and um, so the first thing is this treat bar and I'll just show you in his stuff actually first um, whoops. so that is one of these and they're by Johnson's they're called treat to eat tropical fruit pet bars and um, for buddies parakeets um, and they've got selected seeds banana papaya apricot currants, raisins, bakery products and honey in. Um, so he loves like chewing at that. I think it's made up of like millet seed as well. Um, then his other thing I got was cuttlefish bone. Let me just move this. Um, this is where I keep all the smelly and messy foods that he has. So millet sprays in there from last time. Sorry I've got a cut on my hand. I'm <laughs> doing what that was. I really hurt. Um, yeah so that's millet um, this is cuttlebone fish and it was one massive one like this for a pound and um, so that's going to last him ages so I just um, break it in half and it absolutely stinks and then he's got this iodine block by Johnson's um, but because this is so big and chunky I thought he had just about enough things in his cage for now and um, so I'm obviously going to put this in but in the bigger cage that he's going to go into um, eventually um, so that's in there I can't remember all the prices but if you want to know specific price then just ask me and I'll um, try and find it out for you um, so we keep everything in this pink truck um, just for now I think I'm going to get one of these boxes from Ikea to put it in so it looks a bit tidier and um, then I got these clips which are actually really expensive they were £2.19 but they had nothing else so um, this clip 
is used to hold the cuddle fish. Um, and that's just the pack of this food that's empty. I'm going to give that to the others to chew. Um, then I've got this. It's called Unipack Super Bird Grip. And something, um, it just looks like this. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it just looks like that. It looks a bit like the food, but um, obviously you can tell the difference. I'll show you. It looks like pebbles. So it's slightly different colour to the food, but um, it looks similar. Um, and that's basically really important for the Jews and the birds to have, I believe. Um, so I bought that and something really embarrassing happened to me in the shop. There was like a load of these bags like on the shop floor. And it's like a really tiny shop. So I was like round that corner looking at them and I picked one up and it just like started leaking from the bottom and all this gravel was like all over my trousers. Um, and I turned around and the shopkeeper was stood there and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. One of your bags has like leaked all over me. And he was just like stood there looking at me and he was like, do you mean you've poked a hole in it? And I was like, no, I promise I haven't. I'm so sorry. I promise I haven't poked a hole in it. And he was like, oh, okay, well, um, do you want to buy one then? And I was like, oh, well, yeah. And he was like, so you want the one that's open? And I was like, no. <laughs> oh, it was so embarrassing. Um, and so I just picked, on, picked one up that didn't have a hole in. Obviously, I didn't want to pay for like, half a bag of grit but I don't know if he was joking or not he looked a bit serious um and so that was a bit embarrassing the other thing I got was this bird bath I think this was like £3.50 it's all right it's um an all right price for how big it is um and it clips onto the front when you've got the door open but it's really tricky because um it's really hard to clip on are you eating but um and it's got like little swirl patterns on. Um, we've used this once with Merlin and he liked it, he went in it, but, and then not for very long. Um, so all that stuff that lives in there and his food's in there. And um, so he's just got a little, um, I stole one of the gerbils food dishes because um, they had too many in the cage. So they've just gone back down to one again for the boys. And um, so I've put some grit in there for him to like, play in and eat I guess and um the food the food dish was also from there it's just a small plastic one it was like £1.50 and this is like a little toy that I made for him and um, with just like some wooden beads and a piece of like leather I think you call it thunging I'm not sure and like a spare clip that I had from like a gerbil toy just like a clip like that um, so he loves playing with this and there's room for him to like move the beads up and down and um, he loves like chewing on it and stuff and it was really fun and easy to make you just threaded them on basically um, and he's being silly he loves going in here <laughs> you can't get anywhere he, I think he thinks that he's outside of the cage um, so I'm just going to show you quickly oh, I've taken the millet spray out as well because I'm going to start hand feeding him that to help to tame him a bit more um, when he comes out of you being a silly <laughs> he is such a silly bird um, he does the craziest things he thinks he can get out I guess um, but anyway I'm going to show you quickly when he moves off that perch post um, when he moves out of the empty food I'm going to show you how he can step up he decides to come up. I need to get him on a perch to do it because otherwise he doesn't know. Why are you squeezing in little spaces? And he does like the craziest things. He crawls around like this all over all the bars and he even like goes upside down on the top like a bat. As you can see his belly's gone a bit more blue and so I think he's gonna go like a really black, bright blue. You're so crazy. Uh, he's doing it. Does can anyone tell me if their buddy does this and whether it's like normal behaviour? Because he does it all the time and he loves to just like drop off his perches. Like he'll just be sat on his perch and then he'll lean backwards and like fall off or lean forwards and fall off. He's so silly. Um come here, Merlin. And he's been um 
<clears throat> he's so vocal right now and so noisy and um, he loves singing and chirping and talking um, and the other day I was watching this film and um, there was like bird noises in the background because they were in the woods and he was like calling back to them and he was doing like the exact same noise that they were making he's crazy like dangles from his feet okay you're gonna show them stuff up Melon! Melon! Okay, he wants to do that inside. Melon! Silly boy! Right, see if he'll do it from here. Melon! Maybe not. Um, he is very cheeky. What are you doing now? Is it yummy? Should do some teamwork. You go, you can eat it now. Or not. Right, show them step up. Show step up. Step. Almost. Yay, good boy. Get back on. Good boy, well. That was kind of step up. Um, he sometimes just walk, goes under my hand instead of my finger, but I guess that's all right. Um, and he likes climbing all the way up my arm to try and get out of the cage. But um, he does that quite easily. And he'll also, when he's out and I asked him to step up to come back to the cage, he'll let me do that as well. Um, so that's pretty much all the updates on Merlin for now. That's lovely, lovely tongue. Um, we all wanted to see that, didn't we? Um, okay, I'm being weird. Um, yeah, so that's the end of just this quick update on Merlin. So I'm going to leave him to it. Um, I'm going to put my iPod dock on for him because he was downstairs and we're all watching TV. Um, me and my mum and my sister are having like a girly day um, while my dad's away with work. So yeah he was being too noisy and disruptive and every time there was like talking on on a program he would like um start to open really loud so he's come for a time out a disney time out haven't you um he happened last night because he was getting too restless i think maybe he is getting quite restless because he's not been allowed out today um but obviously tomorrow he will be so it'll be okay but um, yeah, I'll just put my iPad dock on for him in the room, like on low, but like with Disney songs and stuff. Um, so he won't get lonely. He can chirp along and stuff. Um, so with the gerbils, obviously here they are. Um, this is, you saw, you might have seen um, the cleaning out tank video. Um, the tank cleaning video. And basically at the moment I'm using like this really thick um, wood shavings which I hate, I really don't like it. Um, I don't think it's as good for digging as like the sawdust was but it was just um, better value so for now I'm going to be using this. I got like a massive massive bag for like £9 and I pay £8 for like this much, maybe a bit more. Um, it's a bit low actually, I might fill it up. Um, yeah, for around the same amount of one go, I pay like £8 and I can get like four lots um, for £9, so it really doesn't make sense to not use it. Um, so I'm just walking to where all the other gerbils are now. And they're in here, so I think they're asleep. Let me just show you. Oh, so all the girls are asleep in there. And the boys, you can't even see the boys, they're under there somewhere. And I did have the girls in my room, but at the night time they were like waking up and chewing the bars and it was just too loud. So for now they've just had to stay in here. And this is like a new update. Um, these are from the newest litter. Um, they were six weeks old just yesterday 
and these are three boys I obviously separated them about a week ago and um, when they were five weeks old I separated them from the mum and their sisters because obviously um, around six seven weeks they can start um, breeding themselves and I didn't want that to happen so these three are now living on their own they're still quite tiny but um, so this is just like a, a um, little temporary cage it's always like a spare cage I've had and this was actually the cage that my old gerbil died in Aurora um, so that's really sad um, and obviously Giselle died in it as well um, but obviously it's been sterilised and everything and um, when Goofy and Pluto have um, had a fight last time I put um, Goofy in here just to have a time out and my sister joked that it was called Gerbil Jail and um, so she calls this cage Gerbil Jail but at the moment it's Gerbil Nursery um, and actually um, last time I cleaned them out which is just like a few days ago Pluto and Goofy did start fighting again but it wasn't fighting it was just chasing and that was kind of like what happened last time um, so I just took Goofy out again put him in in here did I no I put him in um, the cleaning out box which is just a massive um, tub and I put him in there for like an hour with a bit of food but nothing else because I wanted him to feel like left out and like be glad when he got back in the cage so then I tried him back in the cage after like an hour and then they're, they're just like best friends again like I don't understand it's obviously something to do with the scent whenever I clean them out for the past two times um, those two gerbils have had an issue and it's always been goofy picking on Donald um, so it's been the grey one picking on the ginger one like the boys that live in my room if you remember them um, so like it's really upsetting to watch because they normally get on so well um, yeah but obviously last time I thought it was because I had these guys the boys in the same room I thought it was a scent issue um, but obviously it wasn't obviously it's just like when I put them in a new cage like I put some of their old bedding in as well to keep the scent but I just don't know why it keeps happening so anyway um, they're fine again now and um, so in here they've just got a food dish which they buried slightly and um, they've got a potty because I want to encourage them to be potty trained because in the other tank there was a potty so I think they're already almost there and um, got this old tunnel which is just a spare um, we've got the spare Savic wheel for them which is quite noisy but it comes out at night anyway um, then they've got this play sticks bridge which they were sleeping under because I thought it's kind of the same set out as up here oh you can't really see so I thought they'll kind of oh that's so cute um, I thought they'd kind of feel more at home hello they're so climby um, but then just recently I added in the little coconut house because no one else was using them um, and I thought they'd like that to sleep in so since then they've been sleeping in there instead of under there and they've just got like this water which I'm going to fill all the waters up today because they're going quite low um, it's just been two days since I filled them up um, <clears throat> so they're f drinking fine and eating by themselves fine and also I have some very good news I, you won't be able to see but there's two less gerbils living in here right now um, I managed to find new homes for the two boys that I was looking for homes for um, and this lady saw them on Gumtree and um, she was a lovely lady called Rachel and she called me up and she was like I'm really interested can I come as soon as possible to see them I was like yeah so this was um this was on Friday um, and <clears throat> so just a few days ago so what I did is I separated them and I put them in just like the cleaning out plastic tub and they they were a bit a little bit scared like being by themselves because obviously they've been living with the dad um, and the brothers <clears throat> so um, 
<laughs> then she came to see them and she loved them and she got to see like Harry and Woody and these new babies and um, so she's decided to call them oh, what was it um, Ben and Jacob and she said like from the Bible which I thought was really cute and um, she seemed like such a nice lady and um, so she's taken them home and she's been giving me updates by text of what they're getting up to <clears throat> and things like that so that's so good I'm really really I'm really pleased about that <laughs> any more really um yeah I'm so happy about that so um and I've also had some interest in these three boys as well but they're not going to be ready to get new homes for about another two weeks because they're still really small so I just want to make sure that I can look after them properly until they're about seven eight weeks old okay so that's the end of the updates um just wanted to show you these guys have a cuddle and they really are like really cheeky hello hmm um and they'll always come up to the cage and say hello when you come up hey so there's two dark dark eyed honeys and one that's hiding under here which is a just like um a ruby eyed um cream lovely we can all see your bum okay so that's the end of the updates i hope you've enjoyed it any questions any video requests or anything just post it in the comments below thanks for watching bye